Hey, what's good guys? It's JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the No Me Spent Road to Glory. Another day with no content from 2K, which is so confusing given Jalen Brown dropping 50 points, Josh Giddy becoming the youngest player in the NBA to record a triple double, DeRozan with back to back nights of game winners, um, and they did get rewarded with, um, well, moments XP. Well, Levine did, LeBron did, Clint Capella did, and Jalen Brown did, but no moments cards. Incredibly confusing, so we're gonna make our own content, and we have done so today. We have hit 2,300 cards collected, Pink Diamond Alonzo Morning, and MT is down, but oh my God, it's about to go through the goddamn roof. I have sold 17 items, but these are heavy hitters. We have sold Kawhi, we have sold 40K, 30K, 50k, 60k, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you guys about what's gone down and uh, see where MT can go, because I reckon we're going to be at about 1.6 million, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, I don't know, and that is very exciting. So, let's go and jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos, and check out facebook.com slash jdcrossover for the daily streams, including daily FIFA 22 streams as well. So, as I mentioned, we did get some new XP today, um, it, it's just a bit of a joke though, isn't it? Like... It rewards a badge pack if you don't need XP, which a lot of people don't right now. This is all completely redundant. Like, you would never play this to get a reward of a badge pack. Uh, and we've also got week five, part one. Um, again, it's a little bit more XP you need and you get 250 MT if you so desire. Uh, but that's not for me. That's not for me. So I've got so much of the agendas here that I have not touched. That I don't even want to touch. The Beyond Level 40, we should get step four tomorrow. I already think it's far too much effort just for one card of Dan Marley, Drum Drum, Cliff Hagen, Bryant Reese, or Keith Anhorn. I already feel like it's way too much. Um, even these three steps alone might have been too much. Um, and we'll see what they bring through tomorrow. Uh, we have played some Triple the Offline today, and Triple the Offline today did get an update. I say an update. It wasn't a new update. It was them bringing back the Diamond Detlef Strength, taking away Pink Double John Wall and Diamond Aaron Gordon. So you've now got Brian Rees and Detlef Strength in the vault. And Triple Online, you've now got Keith Van Horn and Calvin Nat until the end of the season in 10 days. But we played 15 games. We only need to win 185 between now and next Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday. And we're up to date. And we only need to win eight more games of domination to be updated. So we could go into next season, completely done on every bit of offline content. And that's kind of where I want to be. We tried today to go into the draft, the main word being tried. We did one draft, it was horrific. We're talking like Ruby base cards and Ruby current series cards. Like, what's the point in that? Second draft, equally as bad. Screw that, we tried again. Third draft, it wasn't bad, but went into the game and the game was bad. And it still wasn't like a great draft, but the game was bad and I just decided to dip it in. I'm not going to bother with online play anymore. It's not worth it for me. Uh, we will get the ring next weekend. That's going to be our final one. It'll get us a Hall of Fame badge. Happy days. But triple online, no. Clutch time, random, no. Draft, random, and gameplay awful. So no, and unlimited. Well, obviously, we're done in unlimited. There's so no reason for do that. But we've got plenty of offline stuff to keep us going between now and then. And we've also got cards to be collecting between now and then. So you can see I'm on 2,296. Now, what has it taken for me to get here? Well, here we go. Every single base set card, every single series one card, everything down here with the exception of Quinn Snyder and Monty Williams, everything here, or every jersey here, and then premium stuff. So the full colossal set is here. I could lock in Danny Granger if I want. I don't want to, uh, but we have got the full colossal set. Prime time, we are missing DeRozan and CP3, but as you saw, I've sold a CP3, so I did have him, but I didn't have DeRozan, so there's two diamond cards I don't have there. Uh, we don't. We, I had a Derek Rose and I sold him, and we didn't have Penny Hardaway, so that's four diamond cards I don't have. Matumbo makes it five, Clay Thompson makes it six, LeBron makes it seven, uh, Kobe makes eight, uh, nobody else there, nine Jimmy Butler, ten De'Aaron Fox, that's it. So there's 10, 11, uh, I think that's it, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 15 diamond cards I don't have in this entire game. 15, that's it, I think. Um, so that would put me on 2,300 uh, and a little bit. It's 
so far away from 2400. I don't understand how people are there already. Is there that many pink diamonds in the game? I guess so, but I can't really afford them. Um, so that's crazy. So we are where we are right now with a lot of MT, with a lot of tokens. I'm happy with the progress we've made. I'm not looking to sell things unless they go up in price quite a lot. So let's first let's get a big fish out of the way first. So Kawhi Leonard sold for 200k. I have no recollection of what I bought him for, not going to lie, but we don't need him. I'm not playing any games. So 200k back for him. Happy days. We then bought uh, Boozma. Boozma. Uh, Boozer, Buddy Healed, and Carl Kuzma. They're evo versions. I already had the base version. Bought the evo versions for the draft. I realised I didn't want to play the draft, so we didn't need that. But now we've got 13 items. Everything here was bought for between 15 and 20,000 MT. So CP3 would have been bought for 20k. Sold for 44. Derrick Rose bought for 20, sold for 30. Dikembe bought for like 22, I think. Sold for 43. We're already at 1.5 milli. Jimmy Butler, 20k. De'Aaron Fox, 20k. James Harden, 20k. Wiggins, 20k. Quinn Snyder was 40k as a coach, went 40k. 5k profit. We're not mad at those. Westbrook, uh, pack pulled Westbrook. No, he wasn't. I did buy him. No, yeah, I bought him for like 20k. Mad. Bill Russell, definitely 25k. 60k for 60k for Bill Russell. Like, are people really? And then what is that? He's down to 40. It's all about the time of day. It's all about the time of day and like how many cards are actually like up for sale at that point in time. Steve Nash, Amethyst Coach, we sniped that on stream for 13k, and then uh, Kobe and LeBron 32 and 29k respectively. 1.86 million MT with 2,000. 300 and, well, it's not 2,301 cards because that's out by um, 5. 2,296 cards, but we are now going to make it 2,297 cards with the addition of Pink Diamond Alonzo Morning. Now, there's good and there's really bad about this card. The good is he's got a 7-6 wingspan. I like it. That's big. 7, uh, 6 foot 10, power forward center though, so that's, it's a little bit small, but you could definitely get away with it. Six foot ten center with a seven six wind span is okay. Card art, card art is nice. I like it. Stats wise, as we'll find out in a second, it's all looking pretty good. Badge wise, I don't think it's that good. But the releases where hmm, things get a little bit ropey. But look at that collector level. We are up to date. So he has nine Hall of Fame badges, which is still sort of like on par with what people are being released with now. So I'm not mad at that. Post bin drop sepper, whatever, but rim protector and intimidator and pogo stick, we take those. Not the most Hall of Fame or gold badges that we've got. We do have interceptor already and post riser, rebound chaser, bullet pass is already there, which is good. Menace is already there. No shooting badges, like absolutely none. So you do have to add all those to them, which is long. But stats wise, we're 89 layup, 90 dunk, 90 mid, 83, 93 block, 93 interior, only the 74 steel. Not great, could be better. Uh, 94 rebounding, very nice. 85 speed and acceleration, 86 lateral, 88 vertical, and 95 strength. It looks a very strong card. We've got KG here. I'll give a little comparison to uh, KG. So Alonzo Morning has a worse three ball, pretty much the same driving. KG's got the better ball control. Defense pretty much the same. Ball's pretty much the same. And speed goes a little bit to KG, but Alonzo Morning does have the plus 10 to strength. And everybody goes on about how good uh, KG is, mainly defensively, especially that Hall of Fame Scepter, but Rim Protector Intimidator is what Alonzo Morning has as well. So he could be a very, very solid card. But, he could be a very solid card, but um, I don't know why I have Reggie Jackson there, but we'll plonk him in there for the time being. Let's just go ahead and have a little bit of a shoot around with him, shall we? Let's just... Have a little bit of a freestyle with uh, this 2,300 card reward. I say reward because it might not be so much of a reward when I take a shot with him. He goes up to a 97 rated center after the coach. Obviously, his ball control is horrific. But his jump shot... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so... I don't even know how to time this. <laughs> It is set shot 17. It is the same release. I don't, I genuinely don't know how to time this. Uh, it is the same release as Dikembe. The same release as Wilt. There we go. Just hold it down for an hour. Uh, still not enough sometimes. Slightly late now. Oh my god. It doesn't render the card unusable. But for me, it would render the card unshootable. 
So if I ever pass it to Alonso Morning, I need to just know, do not take that shot. Like, you you will regret it. I mean, he's green in a few here, but I mean, it is ugly. It is so bad. At least he takes corner threes. He doesn't step inside. He's not really hitting whites, though. It seems like it's green or bust, he says, as he hits a white, which is good. Why? Why, why does this jump shot have to exist in this game? Why does this jump shot have to exist? Let me green one more and I can get out of here, please. No, please. Not an early. Thank you. It's, it's ropey. It's, I mean, other than that, he looks fantastic. And with Steph Curry as a coach, his rebounding goes like 99. His three ball goes up to 85, which is good. You know, he gets some nice boosts from Steph. But I don't think any boost could save that jump shot. I don't think any boost could save that jump shot. Where is he? Alonzo Morning. So, yeah, plus five to the three, plus five mid range, which is good. Uh, rebounding goes up five, from his defense up five, which is solid enough. Uh, ball control up five, don't really care about that, but Steph gives him some nice boosts. It is just such a shame that he, he's really just so bad. Like, so bad. But that is our um, current reward and current progress in the collector level. So, just three more cards to get us back to 2300. But for the time being, we're just going to keep on selling things when they go stupid. So today, there was a Colossal Pack as a daily login, so it just made sense to buy Shaq and Deron Williams today. I'm not going to lock them in because I don't think that's smart, but made sense to buy them today. No way you're already back to 30k, 28, 27, but I bought him for 18k earlier. I'll take it. And what I'm doing is basically just checking these cards sporadically. We could get... So like right out, I'm gonna take 31k for Tim Duncan. I'm gonna take it. I'll be able to buy him back at some point in the future. And he might not sell the first time round. There are a few cards that I listed up earlier today that didn't sell first time round. But if I can take, I mean, look at that. Iggy's gone up to 39k. You're kidding me. That's so much MT. We would sell him for 34.9. We could be hitting 2 million MT. That is ridiculous with this many cards in the collection. And it's all just buying and selling at the right time. Buying at the right time um, has definitely been key, but selling at the right time as well, knowing when to sell and when to hold. I'm holding on to all amethysts and below, like amethysts are never going to change in price. A few of these diamonds are never going to change either. Right, Monte Ellis. Uh, yeah, bye. Bye. See, see you soon. See you soon. He probably won't sell because he's only rated 7, and that's just ugly. Nobody wants a graded card. But we'll try and get 30k for him. So tomorrow we might be cashing in plenty of new cards. Or plenty of empty. We might not be. Doesn't matter either way. And then as for tomorrow, it is NBA 75 packs. If there are no moments cards tomorrow, 2k have just given up. I don't know how we didn't get anything today. Coming off hot off the back of a 50 point game for Jalen Brown. In overtime in a win. 50 point performance. Really efficient as well. To not give him anything apart from... Whoa. Hello, Zach Levine. How you doing? He's going to be 35k as well. Wow. That's OD. Um, yeah, to not do anything for that. Josh Giddy, as I mentioned. Um, to Rosen, obviously. LeBron's been on a tear lately. There are so many people that deserve moments cards from like the last three weeks when they haven't dropped any. They legitimately could drop a batch of like... 30 or 40 moments cards and I don't nobody would be mad at that like everybody would be really really pumped off that you could put a few in challenges you could put a few into the exchange put a few as uh, agendas and challenges it'd be fantastic like the content is right there for you 2k you don't have to do anything the NBA does the work you just then need to make the card based off the real life performances so I would expect to see a lot tomorrow if we don't I will be very very surprised Sadly, with 2K, we have been surprised all too many times before. But I just can't see them letting this one letting this one go. It just doesn't make sense to do so. We're looking at 29K for OG. We do take those. These are big prices here. And it still keeps us so close to where we need to be. We can only move up when heat checks come out. So I'm not pressed about sitting here at the top all the time. Like We can only go to you know, the next couple of rewards, when heat checks drop, which may be before Season 4. It may be when Season 4 drops. Last year, it was actually a few days before. I think it was two days before uh, Season 4 dropped last year. Heat checks dropped onto the database. So I'd like to see that again, obviously. Has JJJ got value? No, he doesn't. I'd like to see that again, obviously. Who wouldn't? Whether or not they'll do that, I don't know. But it'll be 450 new cards into the game, into collections, and that 
is massive for the collector level. Anything sold? Not yet. 450 new cards. And when that happens, we are going to do streams specifically for sniping heat check cards. Because uh, they're going to be expensive when they first come out. I don't really want to spend more than like... 2,000 MT per card. They will be more than that, but we'll be able to we'll be able to snipe them and bid snipe them. 2,000 MT per card. Obviously, that comes in at 900,000 MT. It's about half half of my worth right now. I don't mind it though, because we'll be on 2,300. Then we'll be on 2,400, uh, and then 2,500 will get us Opal Iggy. Lovely stuff. We'll get 100k back from 2,500 or 2,600. 100k back, and then we get diamond contracts on Hoff badges. Five diamond contracts, 15k each, 75k back, and Five Hoth badges, that could be big. And then we'd be reasonably close to this mystery player as well, which could be exciting. But with five more Hoth badges coming into the collection, we've still got 14. We still haven't done anything with these. We've got 1.8 mil and we still haven't done anything with all these Hoth badges. Like, dude, that's crazy. Um, so, yeah, we are in a very good position. That could be a big payday. I don't think it will be because Hoth badges are very, very saturated right now. But it could well be a big payday. So, that's going to do it for me today, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. The account is in a beautiful place right now. If all of these sell, I think we'll be on 2 mil. So we might be on 2 mil by tomorrow, but chances are we'll be less than 2 mil because we'll have opened up some packs when they drop. 75 packs coming tomorrow with three new players and hopefully new moments cards as well. So that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know down below where are you at with the collector level rewards. Are you pushing for it this year? Is it a big thing for you? Is it just something that you're naturally accruing? Um, or are you just not caring about it in the slightest? But Pink Diamond Alonso Morning is here, and his release is shocking. That's good for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time, and peace.